Greetings and welcome back to your daily minute for our Rockstar Influencer mini series. The last few days I've been giving you coaching tips to help you position yourself as a recognized expert so you can grow your business. And today I've got even more great stuff for you. Now, the other day we talked about molding your rock star image, and we discussed the importance of projecting a professional image. Well, today's coaching tip ties in with that, and it's actually going to be a two for one tip. Now, in the first part, make sure that you optimize your social media profile. If you're using social media for business, then your profile should project a professional image. Take a moment and think about your social media profiles. Maybe you have a preferred social platform or perhaps you're on a few multiple different channels like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. As you think about your profile, does your online presentation make people want to get to know you or run for the hills? Does your brand image say yes? I know my stuff. Yes, I'm an expert. Yes, I'm professional. And you're in good hands when we work together. Or does your profile scream amateur hour? Are your photos pixelated or cropped from last year's family barbecue? Do you feel like you're falling short of professionalism with your logos, your branding, and the content you're putting out there? Does your business page look like it was put together by a rookie. Optimize your profile so that it stands out in the best way. Now, let's get into part two of today's coaching. I want you to conduct a social media audit. In other words, go through your accounts and remove anything that isn't flattering to your brand or your image. We frequently hear horror stories of people digging up dirt on celebrities and public public figures from the past. Now, it's pretty safe to say that at one time or another, we've all posted something online that we later regret. So go through your accounts and do a little spring cleaning. It's time to take out the trash. You may not be that famous celeb or a politician, so maybe you don't have too many haters hell-bent on taking you down. But do you really want to take that chance? I mean, the ghost of posts past aside, do you really want those things on your social media channels? If it doesn't shine a good light on you, and bring you the right attention, then get rid of it. Like I said, do some spring cleaning and take out the trash. It's time to play in the big leagues. All right, that's all for today, and I'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new coaching video. But if you can't wait until tomorrow, then grab my Rockstar Influencer 25-point checklist and bonus training. Now, if you're watching this on LinkedIn or Facebook, then all you have to do is hop into the actual YouTube video and click the link found in the show notes. If you're watching this on Instagram, you know you can't click on links in the body of the text. I want you to go up to my profile, click that link that's in my bio area, and there you'll be able to jump on over and grab the Rockstar Influencer 25-point checklist and get the bonus training absolutely free. Got a question? Leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks and be excellent. Bye-bye.